Before iOS 11 and that built-in screen recorder arrives, we've got one more iOS 10 update to do. That's 10.3.3, and it's quite an important one, and this is why. So, if you're new to the Video Gadgets Journal, here's a brief synopsis of why I do these iOS updates. Every time iOS updates are released, there's always a small worry that it's going to knock off those unsigned applications or those signed applications from outside of the App Store and then the screen recording functionality. Therefore, Airshow, Evrecord and all the other screen recorders that we use pre-iOS 11 might go down. So I always update my iOS device live on a video and then try one of these screen recorders, usually Airshow, to make sure that everything's okay to ensure that you can safely update if you want to. Now the important thing in this particular video is that with iOS 10.3.3 we may be seeing the very last update of iOS 10. So if you decide not to update to iOS 11 this may be very useful to know if you're going to stay on 10.3.3 and continue to use screen recorders and for people with 32-bit devices such as the iPhone 5 you're never going to get iOS 11 so it's very important to know with the final software update whether or not it's going to work with screen recorders. So to confirm on my iPad mini 4 we are now at iOS 10.3.3 and I'm going to download and install this update then install Airshow and do a quick screen recording and we'll see what the results are we'll see you in a couple of minutes and that's another subscriber thank you very much perfect timing while we are waiting for that update to install, let me introduce you to the AboveTech tablet holder that they very kindly sent me for review. It's designed for smartphones and tablets between 4 and 11 inches. It has a super heavy base and very sturdy hinges where you can change the angle and once you've set it in place it will never move unless you want it to. And it even has this extra camera adapter if you want to turn it into a makeshift tripod. So I'm testing this tablet stand out right now, let me know what you think in the comments below and there is a link in the description if you want to purchase one. And full disclosure, this is not a paid review but Above Tech did send me one of these tablet holders free for review. Okay, let's get back to the task at hand. We can now confirm that my iPad mini 4 is right up to date with iOS 10.3.3. So the next phase is to reinstall Airshow. And at this point, may I give huge props to App Valley, the people currently signing the Airshow certificate. Right when iOS 10.3.3 was landing, their certificates got revoked, the apps went down, but within about six hours, they'd already fixed the certificate and the apps were available to download again, which is a rapid turnaround for a service like this, so big thumbs up to them. Okay, let's go to App Valley, where we should find Airshow already uh, found on the app. Tap the Get button, Install. That should install the application onto my device, and because App Valley uses the same certificate throughout all its applications. I shouldn't need to uh, trust the certificate once again. I should be able to go straight into App Valley and there we are. Boom, very quick. So it looks as if the certificate method of downloading applications still works fine. I have noticed though that it looks as if App Valley have added adverts to their applications. Fair enough, I guess. But now what we're going to do is once we agree to the Airshow um, pop ups, check the version number which we can confirm is still a 061 I'm gonna go away and do a quick screen recording which you'll see on screen as I talk to you in person because I've got a lovely face haven't I uh... so what you should be seeing to my left hand side right now is a beautiful crisp clean screen recording using Airshow on Brawl Stars as usual I had to re-encode the video to make sure that I didn't get any glitchy playback, but that's nothing new and it's always been the same on iOS 10. And I'm pretty sure that all the other screen recorders, Evrecord, Visorec, Vidi, will work in exactly the same way because after looking at the updates to iOS 10.3.3, it was mostly a massive security update. And the reason for that, I think, and many other YouTubers think, is that this likely will be the last major, if not the very last update to iOS 10 before we move to iOS 11, which means that if you decide not to upgrade to iOS 11 or you physically can't because you have an older device, you've now got Airshow, which is always going to work, hopefully. There may be some changes to iOS 10, maybe if there's a big security uh, discovery or breach which needs fixing by Apple, but 
yeah, I think we're in a pretty good shape now with Airshow as long as App Valley or somebody else continue to spot the application and the certificate. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Video Gadget channel for more iOS screen recording content just like this. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now. Come on you subscriber. 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 Come on you subscriber.